The BU Synchronized Swimming Team is hard at work for their upcoming national tournament at the University of Florida. We are going to be competing on Thursday, Friday, and hopefully Saturday, um, which is finals if we qualify. Um, and on Wednesday we have like a practice day with music. We have various different routines competing, so we have a solo, a duet, a trio, and then two teams. Although not a well-known sport, synchronized swimming can be physically demanding. You hold your breath for like four minutes. Um, you never touch the bottom or the side unless you're just jumping in. So you have to hold yourself up. As we practice 10 hours a week and it takes a lot of practice to build up the skills that are needed. The team will have to perform figures and routines. We have two parts of synchro. One is routines, which is probably the part that you know about. The other half is how figure skating used to be, where uh, you do a required element in front of a judge. BU's synchronized swimming team is a club sport, but they have to compete with D1 teams. Club, some teams are club teams, like us, where we don't get a lot of money from the school, and some teams are Division I NCAA teams that get a lot of money and recruit girls who swim in high school, pulled out a lot of third places, I think, um, and we've beat some of our longtime rivals like UPenn, so we've been doing really great. Madeline Hines has been a coach for two years and has been doing synchro for 12 years. Team members come from various levels of experience. If anyone out there is even slightly interested, um, you can totally sign up anytime. Um, usually September will be at Splash. No experience needed. We have a lot of girls that started synchro like when they came to college and joined us. Reporting from Boston, this is Karishma Desai for BUTV.